Hey, today I'm coming to you from the Foxfire apartment complex. I've always really enjoyed the look of this apartment complex. It always struck me as being something cool and kind of fancy, but you know, one of the interesting things about apartment complexes in general is that people tend to only view them as like the place where you live before you live in the place where you want to live. When Jen and I first moved to Lafayette, we were in an apartment complex for a couple months, and then we moved into our house because we were building a house and, and all that stuff. And one of the things I wanted to draw your attention to and to ask us to be praying about is that the people who live in apartment complexes are not necessarily temporary residents. And in fact, I think too often we tend to think of our neighbors as the people who live in the neighborhoods or something along those lines. And the truth of the matter is that what happens in an apartment is just as important as what happens in other neighborhoods. The people who live in apartments are just as much our neighbors as anybody else. We shouldn't think of apartments as second-class dwellings and single-family homes as first-class dwellings. We should think of people as people. So this week, as we're praying for our neighbors and our neighborhoods, don't forget the people who are living in apartment complexes. We're all residents of the same community and we all need to pray for each other. If you have an opportunity, if you live in an apartment complex, knock on some doors and tell them you're praying for them. So join me in prayer, particularly for the people who are living in the apartment complexes, because they've got a unique thing going on that's different from the neighborhoods and we all need God to meet us where we are. So join me in prayer this week for neighborhoods, your neighbors, and the people living in the apartments too.